life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. Ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again, fail better. We get bored of our childhood, rush to grow up and long to be children again. That we lose our health to make money and then lose our money to restore our health. That by thinking anxiously about the future, we forget the present, such that we live in neither the present nor the future. You already in pain, get a reward for it. <laughs> like you already in pain. So at the end of the day, you, you, everything is already messed up. So why would you go through all that pain and not get something for it? People tend to think that they're happy because they achieve goals and that's not true. What's true is because as soon as you achieve a goal, then you have a problem, which is what's the next goal. And that's actually a big problem. You, you encounter that as soon as you graduate from university, for example. If you are a toddler, you have diaper problems. If you become an adolescent, you have hormonal problems. If you become middle-aged, middle-age is a crisis. If you become old, it's horrible. Tell me which part of your life is good. Don't make everything into a problem. These are different stages of life. You can either ride that and enjoy it or be crushed by the same thing. This is the process of life. Physical life is a natural cycle. So when something is rolling, you can either ride it and enjoy it or you can be crushed by it. It's not about what happens to us because things are going to happen. How are you going to separate yourself from everybody else? And I always thought anytime it got really incredibly hard, I would think about all the people quitting right now and how they're going to feel in a few years, hopefully if we're alive, that they're just going to say, man, what if I hadn't have given up? What if I would have kept going? Don't say what if, please, 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 please don't have the what ifs down the road. You keep going now and I'm telling you, you'll be in a better place than you would be if you quit. Here's the game. Imagine you were taking care of yourself like someone you cared for. So imagine someone you care for and pretend that's you. Maybe it's a son or a daughter or a friend. Now imagine five years down the road. You can have what you want and need. You can be who you are, but you have to figure out what it is. What is it? What do you want? What do you need? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts. But life is always good. Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. I have an insane belief in my own ability to manifest things. <laughs> insane belief. I think it's ultimately complete sanity. I believe we're creators and I believe we create with every thought and every word. Is Every moment is pregnant with the next moment of your life. We all start out with a false belief about ourselves, with some untrue thing that we believe walking through our lives. I'm not worthy, I'm not lovable, I'm gonna fail. Whatever your basic mistaken belief about yourself is, you form a personality around. You know, it, it, it's the grain of sand in the oyster. So I form characters that way a lot of times. I'll, I'll, I'll ask myself, what's, what's the speck of sand? Man, my grandmother died at 93, and a month later, my other grandmother died at 90. I didn't realize how quick life was. I'm like, yo, my grandmother was 93. I spent 51 years with both of them. They're gone. It's over. I will never be able to talk to my grandmother again, and I'm next. So because life is short, I don't have time to focus on what's not. I've got to focus on what is, then get up and go get it. 
and, and, and for me, it's like, guys, some of you in this room have opportunities that I don't have. Some of you in this room have connections or network I don't have. And, and I'm killing the game and you're not. <laughs> so I need you to, I, I need you to understand where you are. Uh, America's not perfect. I don't know if there's a place on planet earth that is. So we're not looking for perfect, but we are looking for opportunity and we have it. So it's like, yo, say it because I need you to understand what you have. And then I need you to appreciate what you have. And then I need you to go after everything that's got your name on it. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in the position for you to understand at that moment. Now, when you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you because your life is a beautiful thing. There are gonna be so many different things that you will embark on. There are gonna be so many different things that's gonna try to slow you down. There are gonna be so many different challenges that you must face. But instead of running away from the challenge, run towards the challenge. Be able to understand that life has meaning. It has reason. And all of these things that you may be thinking that is so hard on you, just remember, sometimes you're gonna have to go through these changes, these circumstances that puts you in a position to make you feel that you're not worthy anymore. But make no mistake, you are worthy. You were created for something. You wasn't created for nothing. Life has a gift. A gift of giving. I don't, I don't even want it to be easy. Everybody would get a PhD if it was easy to get a PhD. Then it wouldn't be valuable if you could just open up the door. So I tell people, like, look, look at the tragedies and say, yo, you thought well enough for me to come at me? Batman, you, 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 you trained in the dark. They ain't say I was born in the dark. <laughs> this is what I do. Cut all the lights off if you want to. You're not gonna stop me because you got all the lights. Like, I, this, is, this is where I thrive. And I'm saying if you're a real human, because we are a little different than some of the other things that were created, we have a will, there's some things that we have. I'm like, activate it. Instead of crying and quitting and giving up again, we're going to go through pain. All of us won't get a reward from it. I got a reward for mine. Like, I have worked so hard when I die, I will physically be dead, but you'll still be knowing about Eric Thomas. The videos will still be out, the books will be out, Whatever businesses we set up, kids will still be going to college. They'll be going to the Super Bowl every year through my foundation. They'll be taking a trip to Dubai. I, I, I you know, I tell people all the time, they're like, what, what motivates you now? Because you have what you want. What motivates? I said, I did it, but can I duplicate myself? Can I scale this reality? You know what I'm saying? Can, can I scale positivity? Can I scale getting through pain? Can I scale taking a bad hand and turn that joke into a royal flush? Can I, can I scale that? So for me, it's not, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. I look at it, game seven, this is going, this where, this where the Michael Jordans are made. This, this, this is where the Magic Johnsons, the Larry Birds, like this is where the real ballers, this is where the real ballers come out. Okay, you won game one. Okay, you won game two. Okay, we won two. Then you were up three, one, three, two, and we came back and beat you. Like, we don't go, we're down two. We go, this is what I signed up for. This is what all the weights were for. This is the eating right. This is the getting up early, going. this is the trainers. Like, this is why I went to this school. This is why I got this coach. Like, this, I long for this and I live for this. And some people, I don't know, are you not cut out for it? I don't know, but for me, when I see trials and tribulations, I go, it's showtime with a real Eric Thomas. With a game seven Eric Thomas, please stand up, activate. Grand Slam, <laughs> Grand Slam activated in shape of ET and bop, boom, it's out of here. So I just look at it as, hey, if you want to complain, go for it. I will rise to the level of the challenge.